Everyone might be familiar with her strong and bold character, but her closer friends know that after she's had a few rounds, she'll start to get into some more emotional topics. In her story quest, Manticora Chapter, the Traveler and Dio work to solve some trouble Dia's mercenary group is facing. In the process, we'll learn more about Dia's backstory and uncover some things that have been buried in the past. Oh, another familiar face, Dune Yerzad, will also be making an appearance in the quest. So, be sure to look forward to that. Oh, heck yeah. So when will Dia be available in the game? Good question. Okay, so, event wishes for version 3.5. In the early part of the new version, both Dia and Sino will be available with their own event wishes. Oh, and uh, as a reminder to our travelers out there, Dia will not be an event-exclusive character. After the version 3.6 update, which to be clear is the one after this upcoming 3.5 update, she will become available in the standard wish. And as for weapons, the five-star claymore, Beacon of the Reed Sea, ooh, will be available in the version 3.5 weapon event wish. Ooh. I know. Oh, oh, and um, Faruzan's very own hangout quest will also be added in version 3.5. So if travelers are interested in getting to know more about one of Sumeru's oldest researchers, then you definitely won't want to miss this. In the Hangout, travelers will not only be able to see more about the differences between the Academia's various schools of thought, but you'll also get to know more about Faruzan's personality and background. In 3.5, travelers can also expect an all-new Archon quest titled Kari Bear, which will continue our story as we search for our sibling. In this quest, travelers will not only meet Kaya and Sumeru, but will also be joined once again by our mysterious friend, Dainsliff. Ooh. Ooh, yes.